All right, guys, we got a drainage truck here, 200,000 miles. We already did. It had a dummy plug, hot no start. And actually, Darian said it still has a hot no start. So what we're looking at is uh, garden hose effect is what we call it. Fix the biggest leak in the leaky garden hose, and the next weakest leak will make it self-evident. So what we're probably going to be, hope it's not a top injector O-rings or something like that. If it is, we're probably going to be banging on injectors. Uh, let's run some codes real quick. We're going to do a regular diag now. Holy crap, haven't even looked down through them yet. Okay, left front. So it's passenger side. Then mismatch, battery voltage. We did put batteries in it, so a lot of those we haven't cleared it. Compass not responding. EGR is probably deleted. Cylinder four and six glow plug. So just got a couple glow plugs, no big deal. A lot of this stuff could be from voltage, so let's clear them all out. We got four and six glow plugs. Hang on. That's never good to see in the truck. <laughs> Okay, VIN mismatch kept coming up, so did uh, left front speed sensor, so the VIN mismatch ABS. Now, that could be from tuning, whatever tunes in it, who knows. Hang on. All right, let's just scroll down through here. I think this is the one we put batteries in, 8.7 on EVP. It is cold start, 53, 55, so they're pretty even. We don't have to worry about the sensors, which we hardly ever do. Let's just look down at volts. All right, let's go back up to where here, something like that. All right, let's kick it off and kick it back on. Now he said this does have a hot no start. We haven't driven it a long ways, just because it actually runs pretty freaking bad. So, I mean, it's probably gonna get a full set of injectors in it. It's probably what it still chatter. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Watch the pick them at the top, IPR at the bottom. Yeah, 84. Okay, so that right there. So it built ICP, so it built it and tried to fire, but the injectors are so crappy that it wouldn't fire. So, but it did go to 84 on IPR. It did max out a little bit. So, you know, we do have... See that? The fact that it's doing that. Says that uh, it's going to 84, so it, there is a leak somewhere or something. Or we haven't driven it enough. We don't know. But the fact that it's not popping off, that says we got some injectors that are... I mean, the, we got two glow plugs bad, but it should fire with two glow plugs. Let's kick it again. There you go. Let's go here real quick. That was not happy. Didn't need any starting fluid, though, thank God. Three, four, and eight. Oh, look at that. Kind of cleared up a little bit. Let's kick this button off here. Almost one, three, four, and eight. Ain't that a pitch? Okay, one and three are selling up a little bit. I mean, maybe we ought to just four and eight. But if we do four and eight, honestly, we ought to do the side. I mean, or, oh, look at three. There goes three. I mean, it probably wouldn't be bad. I mean, with how four and eight are the major worst ones, wouldn't be bad to, well, I don't know if the wallet can allow a full set. It'd be a whole different truck. It actually start. Uh, let's let it run a little bit and get some temperature. All right, guys, this thing runs too bad for me to check oil cooler. I can't check oil. Cooler. I mean, maybe I could, but it's it's sounding horrible. So let's see if it warms up a little bit. Hang on. All right, we was just now we was just now going to. Uh, uh, Wiggle some wires around, see if it was uh, injector plugs causing that number four and number eight to drop. But it, I mean, it w if if the injectors clear up on their own without popping the hood, it's not a wiring issue. Your chances are pretty good. So uh, let's drive it a little bit and see how it works on uh, acceleration. All right, let's just watch the first acceleration real quick. Let's see what it does. It's not that, not too bad. It's turned up past the moon, but. Just watch this deceleration too. Right, hang on. I mean, I'm standing here right now, and actually, injectors don't look too bad. So, I mean, that butt sucks. That cold start. I don't know if these are aftermarket injectors. Not sure, but they're not too bad right now. Let's keep running. Okay, let's show the highway here. Nothing too bad. Nothing out of it. Let me get up in high gear torque converter lock. Hang on. Okay, yeah, we need a thermostat. Oh my God, it's bumpy. Uh, let me see, let me show it. Okay, whatever, 
I can't show it. It's 116 degrees. It should be way warmer than that. So we need to put a thermostat in it and get some heat in it. Battery's charging good. Okay, I just went up that hill and I forgot to mark it. I forgot to record it, but honestly, they're not looking too bad. I mean, they start like hell, but they don't look too bad right now. Okay, here you go. That wasn't enough of a pull, hang on. I mean, holy crap, yeah. The thermostat might be broken. 134 degrees, Jesus. Freaking chilly. Okay, so right here's a good chance to show what I'm talking about. 136 degrees, almost 140. You see, it's almost at the bottom of the bracket. Inside that bracket, it's 140 degrees. So, you know, those of you that don't have gauges, once it hits that bottom of that bracket, you'll be at 140. That's a good point. But so far, these injectors look all right. We, I don't know about the oil cooler because we're going to... It's, it's almost too cold. I know I've said before that, you know, thermostat being bad, but this is extremely bad. I mean, this is 138. This is ridiculous. That's, that's freaking cold. We, we need a, yeah, we need to fix thermostat before we check oil cooler definitively because, I mean, like right now it says 12 degrees, but oil's hotter and coolant, so, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's get on and get on around. Let's go. Let's see what happens. It's up to you on the injectors. I mean, it, it's a drag having it start like that. I bet it'd start a heck of a lot better if we plugged it in. You know, if you go ahead and just plug it in, it probably would. But starting it like that all the time kind of sucks. It's only bummer is that, you know, I mean, I was kind of hoping either number four or number eight would be dropping out while we're driving because that would justify taking it out even more. But now it's like, I mean, it depends on what the budget looks like. You know, if the budget's kind of tight, then I would ride with it. But we got to get back to the shop right now. Uh, basically, if it's going to hot no start or if it's going to long crank now when it's not even heated up to temperature, because here, hang on. Oh, I just talked to that. Hang on. I don't know what I just said, but I think I had it on pause when I was supposed to record or something. But we're going to get back at a hot no start right now. We're going to see if it is. Because uh, if the thermostat's bad, it's 158 degrees on oil. Thermostat's bad right now. So imagine we put a good thermostat in it and that oil's at 200 degrees, how bad it'll hot no start. <laughs> yeah, so let's get back and see right now what it does. So hang on. Yeah, just about got in a death wobble just now. I should have recorded it. Uh, these tires, wheels, oh my God. Okay, I, let's see if you can see. Uh, you know tires wheels are one thing but we're gonna have yeah it just uh we need to look at the track bar look at the steering because you know a lot of times i mean you can almost minimize the death wobble by track bar uh, most of the time it's track bar being wore out give us some play but uh, this one it just about went into it just now i figured i'd record and document that because i mean a lot of people will say, I think I had the death wobble. That means no. That means you don't know if you had it. But Because uh, if you have a death wobble, you freaking know it. So right now, right now it's still going good. So I backed out of it before it got into full-on freaking death mode. <laughs> trying to quit. I think I said a cuss word a minute ago. I'm sorry if I did. We might have a dead spot in the accelerator pedal. I barely push it. Right there and it jumps. Watch if I barely touch it. Right there. Look at that. Huh. I've actually never seen one do that before. I wonder if it has a dead spot in the pedal or something. Barely touch the pedal and it does it. Kind of uh kind of freaking crazy. Alright, right now we're gonna shut it off. It is 120. Oh my god, you piece of freaking crap. Hang on. 121 finally focused okay now honestly all we really need to do is just shut it off and mimic 
the uh like however long it takes it to drive through stuff like that that's about how long you know if you give it like a minute or two if it's gonna hot no start we'll see it i have found that you could do it too quick and it won't let it bleed off you know it's i've had some before where you know if you shut it off and start it right back up it'll fire up but if you shut it off let it sit for too long it won't because you know it lets the leak push the oil out i guess okay so let's go ahead and do this i've waited long enough let's see here let me go back and exit out hang on all right here you go ipr is at the very bottom we don't want to see 84 icp up there in the middle of the screen oh look at that wow it started up good maybe i mean there was a chance they had road construction when darian went to drive it so there was a chance he didn't drive it enough to do it so let's let's do that one more time hang on actually i'm gonna let it sit for i'll give it a couple more minutes i'll come back out and start it if we have another problem with it then i maybe i'll have to make another video but if there aren't any more, if there aren't any more videos it's good we'll just know that all right guys have a good day